Hi, this is Claire Pratesia from Verity Papery, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make three cards using the same stamps. Now each of these cards has pretty much the same design, but each card has something unique and special about it. So the first card that we are going to do is this purple one. I'm using some new fun stamps from Hero Arts today. The first stamp set is Winter Silhouettes. It's got tons of great little images. And then there's also Poster Christmas Carols. And then an older stamp set, Winter Scene. The first two stamp sets are a part of the uh, 2017 Hero Arts Winter Catalog release. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Um, we're going to take the jar from the Winter Scene stamp set and we're going to stamp that in silver. I have a piece of cardstock already cut to size. All of these cards are A4 size instead of A2. So an A2 card is five and a quarter by, or no, four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's usually what I make, but I kind of like the skinny look of these ones. Um, there's also a little bit less space to, <laughs> to have to worry about. Um, so doing the A4 card size is actually four inches by five and a half. It's really only a quarter inch difference, but I like the look. So um, I'm cleaning off these stamps because I use it for a different project and I'm really bad at cleaning my uh, stamps off in between projects. So just to make sure I'm not contaminating my colors. Um, I'm going to be using Passion Flower and Soft Purple or Soft Lilac for the first card. So for all these cards, um, how I kind of planned out the color combos was I picked three colors that I liked, so purple, pink, and blue. And then I picked two colors, or two different shades for each one of those colors, a darker one and a lighter one. Now when I'm stamping these trees, I like to have three, it's kind of a rule of thirds thing, just three odd numbers look pleasing to the eye. Um, and then I have two of those three stamped in the lighter color and then one in the dark color. The reason I have two stamped in the light color is because since it's already lighter, it has to compete more with the dark. So I give it more um, visual space by stamping two light trees and one dark tree. So I'm not trying to get super technical here. Um, usually this is stuff I think about. I'm not even consciously thinking about it, but um, if it helps. <laughs> so um, I also cleaned my little silhouettes and I'm stamping those in navy. The sentiment is also stamped in navy. So for the second card, it's the same stamping process except with different colors. I used cotton candy, bubble gum, and grape juice. And I also cleaned my stamps thor thoroughly between um, changing colors. So the second step for this card is actually kind of fun. We're going to be adding glitter. So we're going to be stamping with glue. I did a video on this, I don't even know, like three or four years ago. So the quality isn't that good, um, but information-wise, I think it's good. I'll just go over it real quick here. So it's the essential glue pad, and you have this little refill bottle that you use pretty much every time you stamp. I mean, at least I do. So you just add a teeny little drop to the glue pad and spread it all around and then you ink up your stamp with it. It's um, not super complicated and I've actually had this ink pad for probably five years. I mean I don't use it a whole lot but it's still going strong and the refill bottle came with this ink pad so I really haven't <laughs> um, refreshed that at all. And so after we've stamped our glue instead of adding our glitter right away, I find that the glitter actually sticks a little bit better if you give the glue some time to set. Or I, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. <laughs> the glitter just sticks better if you give it like, I don't know, 15 minutes to set. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna get started um, on the last card. So for the shaker element of this card, we may need to make the front panel first. So I'm using a piece of washi tape to hold down the jar die on a panel I already have cut. And once I got that cut out, I'm using some washi tape to just hold it in place against the card base since we're actually gonna be stamping the jar on the card base itself and not on the front panel. The card base was stamped in the same process as the other cards except the colors I used were dusty blue, cornflower, and charcoal. With the card base ready to go, 
We're now going to add our front panel on and uh, add the glitter and create the whole shaker element. I actually was very confused when I made this card. Um, I was not paying attention and I started doing things backwards. I started adding adhesive before I add, added my um, acetate on the back of the panel. So I removed that adhesive and then I added some score tape and then I added my uh, clear acetate, cardstock, whatever you have. I just like to use the score tape because um, it is really, it just works really well with the slippery um, surfaces. So now I'm going in and adding my foam adhesive. Since I'm going to be adding glitter in here, I'm really making sure that all the corners are really tight and closed off so glitter doesn't pop out of the card and get all over whoever gets this card. I mean, if it was my brother's, then I wouldn't mind if that happened, but I'm probably not going to be sending this one to them. So, um, anyway, I added the glitter and some sequins in there, and then I realized I did this backwards as well. I usually put it on the card base, so then I can flip the panel over and kind of see um, where everything is, and it's a lot easier to adhere it, but I actually put everything, uh, I put all the glitter into the panel, so uh, to make it easier to adhere to the card base so I wouldn't have to like hold the card above my head and try to eyeball it, um, I just added a piece of acetate behind the panel. I don't like to do this because the glitter kind of sticks to the acetate weird sometimes, so if there's two pieces of acetate, it gets kind of weird, but you know, I kind of dug myself a hole there. So. Going back to that second panel we made, um, since that glue has had time to set, just add some super fine glitter to it. I find that the super fine glitter works the best. The chunky glitter doesn't stick on as well. Um, but once we got that panel finished, all we need to do is just add our two panels to the card base. Um, I like to give it a little bit of dimension, not as much dimension as dimensional adhesive would give. Um, but just a little bit of something. So what I do is I usually take uh, some watercolor cardstock that I've already destroyed both the front and back of with just uh, messing around um, previous stamp attempts. Um, instead of throwing that cardstock away, since it's a little bit thicker than usual cardstock, I will use it sometimes to kind of add a little bit of extra dimension here and there. So that finishes up the cards. So here's a quick look at the cards again. Um, the photos are on the blog as well as the supplies. Um, I'll try to link the supplies in the YouTube description box as well though. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them on the blog or you can leave them in the comment section. And I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. God bless. Bye. <music>